Hi everyone. Thanks for taking time out of what I know are very busy days, especially these days, to join us here at the Agility Summit. I'm Dave Carroll. I head up marketing at Zenput. So I'm very excited to introduce this next roundtable discussion. It's on a topic that I know that gets all of our imaginations rolling, whether you're in the industry or just a restaurant goer. And the panel topic being, what will the restaurant of the future look like? So 2020 has been a challenging year to say the least, right? Um, but if you look at what happens over time across industries, you tend to see a lot of innovation come out of adversity. So we had a chance to talk to several ops leaders and ask them to take out their crystal ball and to give us a sense of not only where their own businesses are headed based on learnings and innovations that they've experienced the last few months, but to take a crack at what the restaurant of the future will look like. So I hope you enjoy this session and that it gets your own imaginations rolling around what the future might hold. Restaurants have been part of the fabric of our social lives for longer than any of us have been around, and I think that will continue. So transacting through a drive through only, while that's a convenience, does not have that ability to, to, to keep that social fabric intact. We really now understand that carry out, curbside pickup, drive through are requirements, and we need to be able to operate those better. But they are not going to replace the traditional restaurant environment. I think the pandemic is going to forever change the restaurant industry. I think you're going to see a lot more innovation and design around to-go orders, online platforms, and having actually smaller restaurants and smaller footprints because you won't, there won't be the need for as much seating, especially in the fast casual segment. The landscape has changed dramatically in the way sales have shifted into a non-dine-in. So I think restaurants and competing for real estate will be able to look at smaller footprints on um, different designs and really catering, so to speak, to the bigger part of their business now, which is going to be that online to go third party kind of avenue. Long term, I think uh, our restaurants will be a lot more automated because it's it's all about speed i mean uh it it's all about getting it's all about getting products out of the oven faster which means we need an oven that cooks faster uh is there a way that we can um automate processes so that they move faster they move more efficiently there's less mistakes we've trialed delivering in lots of different ways from drones to uh little delivery cars our goal is uh our goal is to have a pizza ready in three minutes from a, a handmade, made to order, fresh baked pizza in three minutes. So, you know, if we're, if we're doing that, then we need things to be faster and more efficient. Just talking about the restaurant of the future, um, what's gonna happen is, will COVID ever go away? Uh, I think the, the normal, much if anybody can relate to how air travel was after 9-11, uh, I, I don't think we're going back to the, the normal way things were. So the challenges that I see in, in the restaurant industry is, all right, how do we continue to move more cars through the drive-through? Speed is, speed is about everything. Uh, if I can't put more cars through the drive-through, we're not gonna do more sales. I think the days of filling in checklists on paper are over because there just really is no way to make sure that once an issue is identified, that that issue is communicated to the right person in the right manner so that the right action can be taken before it becomes a bigger issue. Um, I foresee that we are going to have a lot more layers in our, our different businesses to try and reach our customers from different avenues. Um, the old days of having just an inline restaurant where a customer comes in and stands in front of a, a, a cashier and places an order, I think those days are over. I think people like to get out of the house and they like to, you know, be in a, in a, in a different atmosphere. Uh, it's fun. It can be a little exciting. And so I think that's something that's, you know, it'll rebound back. But for, you know, for at least for the next year or two, I think it's going to be a lot of what we're seeing now where delivery is really popular. Uh, curbside is going to be super popular, carry out orders, that type of stuff. So just making it easier for people to order, um, spend less time in the store. I think that's kind of the, the immediate future. And I think some of that will stick around, just maybe not at the same capacity it is now. 
think the, the big trends that um, COVID has, has accelerated and maybe seeding um, from a more permanent standpoint is really accelerated the adoption of digital, emphasized the importance of drive-throughs and, and remote um, dining options. And I think that those are those are things that are going to stick, as well as just overall digitization. I think that you know we would all recognize, if we're being honest with ourselves in the industry, that pap the days of paper and pencil and uh, pencil whipping, unfortunately, or just lack of execution, um, are something that we just can't afford. And uh, the digital format really allows us to have visibility that we never had before, accountability that that. We may have liked to have uh, assumed we had, but really without that visibility, it's hard to have the accountability. And so, you know, accountability is everything when it comes to um, relying, when you're, when you're looking for execution, if somebody's not accountable for it, then it's not gonna happen. As we talked about earlier, you know, a lot of the innovations have come around the way we handle the food and handle the payments from the customers. I think a lot of those things are going to continue into uh, the foreseen future, primarily because, uh, you know, customers want to make sure that, that we're safe and when we handle their food, it's safe. Uh, I think a lot of it, we, we think a lot more about uh, how we deliver the food to the customer. And, uh, you know, as far as the technology is concerned, we're consistently, Taco Bell and, and our company are looking for better ways to make sure that we manage on a day-to-day -day basis and, and come up with ways to, to take care of the guests and they do feel safe in, in our environment. Looking forward, um, if, if uh, you know, I was to, to predict what was going to happen in the future, it, it really is about speed. Um, the ability to quickly adapt and communicate the required changes to the team in real time versus days or weeks is key to any operation uh, success. I think COVID-19 has reminded us just how fragile our world is. Technology, be it front of house or, or back of house, will be increasingly present. Fast casual will, will be more mainstream. Um, delivery, self pickup, and grab and go uh, will all be key components to restaurant operations. And moving forward, there will be a much greater emphasis on future proofing businesses. During the pandemic, a lot of restaurants saw a huge increase in the ratio of takeout orders compared to dine-in orders. So this made handheld meals like ours more attractive. And studies have shown even before the pandemic that there is a growing demand for handheld meals, especially during the breakfast period. With the fast-paced, busy lifestyles that most of us live nowadays, we expect this trend to continue well into the future. So we are going to continue to offer convenient, delicious, handheld meals. As we look at the future post-COVID of full-service restaurants, I really believe uh, that the guest experience is gonna have technology built in at every level that makes it more convenient for them uh, and more efficient for the restaurant everything from the very beginning when they go to choose a restaurant and make a reservation to their experience uh, in the restaurant with menus and with payment. And I think there are efficiencies that everyone is learning through this process that have proven to be beneficial for the guests and coming out of this are gonna be beneficial for the businesses. I think it's gonna help the whole experience be a little faster, a little cleaner, um, have a, an easier impact on the environment without the printing of menus and the printing of checks and, um, and be, be safer and more efficient all the way around.